When can you hug your grandkids again? And if you use oxygen, do you still have to wear a face mask? Those are just some of your questions for WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall, and those are the ones she's answering today. Susan wants to know, I've been locked down since March 12th. Our son, daughter-in-law, and grandchild have also been distanced for that long. Can we now be together as a family unit? And I know how frustrating it is, and everybody wants to get together with their family, but Susan, not yet. If you are of an age where you're at higher risk of getting complications from a coronavirus infection, you really should continue to keep your distance. What we need to do is really continue to see those numbers going down and make testing more widely available before we sort of loosen restrictions on who can socialize with one another. Diane wants to know if one family member gets coronavirus, what are the chances of the rest of the family who live together coming down with the virus? So the chances are actually pretty good. It's one of the most common ways that the virus is transmitted between people. But there are some things you can do to significantly reduce your risk. The person who's infected ideally should be isolated in one part of the home or the apartment. Uh, they should be wearing a mask. You should make sure you disinfect any common areas and wash your hands really well and really try to keep apart as much as possible from the person who's not feeling well. Gloria writes, I use oxygen all the time. Am I exempt from wearing a face mask? So unfortunately, Gloria, no. Anytime you go out or when you're around other people, you really should be wearing a face mask. There are different types, and the one that um, ties behind your head might be more comfortable than the one that fits over your ear. You want to put your nasal cannula in first and then put the face mask on top. I know it might be really uncomfortable, but hopefully you won't have to wear it for very long. Our next question comes from Tanya in Chelsea who writes, I don't own a washer dryer. Are there special precautions I should take when dropping my laundry off to be done outside my home? So anytime you bring in a package from outside your house, you want to remove the contents, throw away the packaging or recycle it, and then wash your hands really well. And the same goes for dry cleaning.